Hi, my name is Cy Porter and this is another tutorial for the Media Era Artist and this tutorial is the painterly approach to hand-drawn letter and design. I make my tutorials to get the word out about my animation work at solomation.com and if you want to encourage me to make more tutorials for the media artist, please take the time to watch one of my animations at that website. Also, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment box and I'll get back, I'll, I'll answer them. As you can see here, I am working on the title bar for my YouTube page and this is a good example of the painterly approach. As you can see here I'm not concerned with finding the exact or correct line throughout the entire process. Um, it's important that that I don't try to make it ruler perfect. That isn't what the painterly approach is about at all. A painterly approach would be like an archer, someone who guesstimates and and tries to make the most accurate decisions off the cuff and or like the driver of a car. You're not, you're not being a perfectionist about it because you're in the middle of it. You don't have time to stop the car and measure to make sure that you're exactly on the right place of the road. It's guesstimation all the way through. And that's the real, that, that is the real beauty of the painterly process because if you're committed to guesstimating your way through the entire artwork <clears throat> it just it creates a, a really really good art that way and in this particular letter design you can see that I'm keeping the guidelines in because it's fitting to the title I'm making I've never I've never left the guidelines in another letter design because it, it that wasn't really part of the concept. <clears throat> but you can see how I'm using I'm adding messages to the message. And anytime you do that, it, it makes for a stronger lettering design. Now with these letters now, right here, you can see I'm just in, in the program, I'm graying out the areas so that I can go back and highlight the letters. And for the font, basically, I'm playing off the idea of notes on a scale. And though I, I don't do music tutorials as a media, because they are tutorials on media, <clears throat> I think that it still would be good to go ahead and play off the idea. You can see how the O here is very much like the shape of, of um, the quarter note on a musical scale. And I can't really make the S fit that shape, but I can still kind of play off that italicized. You see how the O is oval, but the direction of the oval is italicized and and I continue that general movement in all the other letters in the E you can see the E is very much following the shape of the quarter note that you would find in a scale and also the thing about painting is that you're continually like walking over things you've already done you're not trying to avoid messing up. It's a messy process all the way through. So you, you may have gotten the E correctly the first time, but in, in making 
the darkness around the E darker, you're going to end up overlapping. In the L, you can see how I just run in and I go ahead and cover up what I've done before, but it's much easier to go back and, and fix that. <clears throat> and the painterly process is a lot funner, if you ask me, because you, you can just go in there and you're not like constantly stop starting you're just you're flowing with it and and um, now what you can see here is I I'm using the program to just work out the overall grays because then I can go back and and bring out the blackness of the media era and the whiteness of the art lessons and so the rest of it I wanted to kind of bring to gray to have that not as prominent in in the title bar <clears throat> and then I just go back over it isn't about being in a hurry it's about really just kind of taking the time and, and enjoying working the more that you can slow down to enjoy the part that you're working on the better the painterly process works because you can see it's like I'm not like thinking oh god I have to go back and rework these letters again instead you know i already have layers and layers of of not real paint but it this is similar to paint <clears throat> to back me up and when i go and and bring these letters out again it's much quicker much easier and it's enjoyable to think about each shape i have the time to think about you know where the line is thicker and thinner in like uh, in the e Oh, we're done. Have a good day.